In this one, we're going to be adjusting our camera's field of view for when we go to aim. So currently, as we aim, it's a little hard to see because we're not really, it kind of gives a sense of focus when we lower the field of view when aiming. So that's going to kind of draw the camera forwards a little bit closer to the weapon and allow us to have a little bit of a better picture. So an example on how we're going to do this, currently we're not going to use uh, any sort of interpreting. So we're going to just do first person camera component inside of start aiming and do set field of view. And I'm going to do 75. Then on stop aiming, I'm going to do 90, which is the default. As you can see, here. Let's look at it. As you can see, it zooms in. Probably going to go a little bit lower, but it's snapping. So it's snapping in and out. We want to be able to have it be a smooth transition. So I want to change this to 70 for the field of view. Just make it a little bit Yeah, 75 might have been a little better. So I'll leave it at 75. So we need to use a timer to kind of get the differences between our 90 and our 75 and our 75 and 90 for when we aim and go back to not aiming. So we're going to create a timer. So we're going to start out with a timer handle. So I'm going to do a F timer handle. I'm going to do, call it T aiming or aim handle. Then I'm going to create a function. Call it void set camera field of view. Or aim camera field of view. Alright. So now let's go ahead and create our timer. So I want to do that inside of begin play. So get world, get timer manager. Okay, we need to include it. So include timer manager.h. We're going to do dot set timer. It's going to get the timer handle. So t aim handle. Refer to this object. Then we need the function we're going to call, which is our uh, camera FOV. So a anim tutorial character. Aim camera field of view, then the uh, kind of the rate we want it to go. So let's start out 0 0.1 and then pass in true to indicate that we want the timer to loop. All right, now what we're going to do is pause it. So I'm going to copy this and paste it and change set timer to pause timer. And I'm going to copy it again. So if we scroll down to our start aiming, we're going to unpause the timer. And we're going to unpause the timer again and stop aiming. So when we start aiming, we're going to unpause the timer. When we start aiming, we're going to unpause the timer. And I forgot a semicolon. In which case, it's going to call the same camera field of view. Now. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be accessing a function from the UKismet math library, so we need to include that. So we can just do include kismet, kismet math library .h. and here's where we're going to access it. So we're going to do u kismet math library uh, interp. We're going to do f interp to constant, so it's at a constant rate. And you can see the parameters. It takes in our current value that we want, which is our current field of view of the camera, then the target field of view that we want, then the world's, well, the delta time, and our speed. So we're going to get our camera's field of view. So float camera fov equals first person camera component. 
field of view. Then we would need our new field of view, so float new FOV. I want to set that equal to 90 by default. Then we're going to do if V is aiming, we're going to do new FOV equals uh, it was 75. So the first value is going to be the current, so camera field of view. And then our target, which is new field of view. Delta time, so we're going to do get world, delta seconds, then the interp speed. I'm going to start out with 10. Right? And this returns a float, so it's going to be new f of v equals that. Then I'm going to set it. So first person camera component, set field of view, new field of view and compile. And now let's test it and see roughly where we're at, what we need to adjust for the speed and that kind of thing. Got to recompile this after making that change for some reason. All right? You can see it's aiming in and aiming out extremely slowly. So let's change 10 to 100. To really speed it up right as you can see it's going faster but it's very stuttery so we need to increase the rate of the timer change from 0 0.1 to 0 0.01 for the timer speed and i think that actually works about right because by the time we're we have the sights up and ready to go, we are, yeah, we're actually finishing our camera's movement and we're going in and out for each aim, which is just what we want. All right, that's perfect.